Hello IT Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video we will be cloning and then replacing the hard drive on this laptop for a SSD. So I have done two videos in the past using free software. You can see them there, link for those in the video description below. So we're going to do kind of the same in this video, but there is a difference. So in the past, I have replaced the mechanical hard drive on a laptop, normally 500 gigabytes or so, and then I have cloned it to a smaller SSD, 120 gigabytes. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take this small 120 gigabytes SSD and clone it and replace it by a bigger SSD. So the size is not really important, can be one terabyte, two terabytes. The process is going to be the same. And the brand that you may have, you can see many brands on the, on the picture. I have used them all and they are really great. The, the difference is just uh, the price, okay? Now we're back on the laptop. Uh, I'm going to show you around. This is a Windows 10 laptop, but this process also works for a desktop computer, Windows 7 and Windows 8. By the way, if you want to know how to create a bootable USB to install Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10, you can do it by watching the video on the top right of this screen. Now, as you can see, we're in this PC. You can see that I only have one hard drive, one partition, which is partition C. This one is 100, uh, 120 gigabytes. So we are going to see it in a few more seconds. And now the, the next thing we need is obviously the SSD. For this one, I chose PNY 250 gigabytes, as you can see it there. The brand is not really important. Uh, I just chose uh, PNY for this one because it, it was a little less expensive than the others. But all of them, SanDisk, Kingston, PNY, are great in my opinion. I use them all and they just work well. The other thing that you're going to need is a SATA to USB cable, as you can see it there. If you don't have it, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for Amazon, so you can find them. Now, we are going to connect the SATA cable to the SSD, and the other end, uh, which is USB to any available port on the laptop or desktop computer, okay? I'm not going to connect it right now, but that's what you need to do. Next, we need to download the software to clone our SSD. So we're going to go, we're going to go to open a web browser and this is the website that you have to go. Again, link for that website in the description below. So the software we're going to use and the one I have used before is Macrium software. So as you can see the websites, this might look different depending on when in the future you are watching this because websites, they redesign them and all that. So you have to go to free edition, home, use, so it asks you for your email, but that's not necessary. So you go to continue and thank you for downloading our software. So as you can see here, it has downloaded it. It's very small, it's five megabytes. Megabytes, that's the first part. I copy it to, the, to my desktop, as you can see it there. So I'm just going to double click on it. So double click is going to take a few seconds and it's going to ask me the few, a few questions. What version are you using? Well, this one is the free one. Where do you want to install it? That's okay. If you want to change it, you can change it. I'm just going to leave it uh, by default because uh, after this, I'm going to delete it. Next, uh, we just go to the next step. And now it's going to download, uh, download it from the internet, from the website. So the, the video is sped up here, but as you can see, it's around 112 megabytes. So that's not that big, at least for now. Maybe the feature is going to be bigger. So after it had finished downloading it, is automatically just going to ask you this. Do you want to run it or install it, uh, I would say. So now it's going to install it. So it's, it's kind of, uh, it doesn't take uh, much time this part. And now Micro Reflect 7, so we are in version seven. So you obviously ha uh, need to agree to the license. So here, what version are you, are you using? So this is home. I'm going to click on that, next. And here is asking us for uh, if we want to receive notifications. I don't like that. So I'm going to uncheck it and next. Here is going to create um, an icon on the desktop. Yes, I'm, ju I'm just going to press enter. Uh, no, enter, I mean next. So the video is sped up again. So the installation takes, um, I don't know, a few seconds, 30 seconds maybe. And then it's going to open by itself. So as you can see, this is how it looks. As you can notice, it's detecting our C drive, C partition, that's all. So I'm going to close it, and now we are going to connect the USB, I mean the SSD, to the laptop or desktop computer. So as you can see, there is a red light on the cable, so that means it's connected. And now we're going to go 
to this PC. As you can see, there is nothing. It's not detecting the hard drive, which is fine. There is no problem with that. So now I'm going to close this and open Macrium software one more time. It's going to ask me, do you want to open it? Well, yeah, otherwise I cannot clone it. And now, if you see below, is detecting the new SSD. So you can see it there, 250 gigabytes. We can see it there. Now, the next step is, by default, you can see on the top the old hard drive. Well, it's not the old hard, the hard drive, but everything is checked. As you can see, I have two partitions. You might have more than two. You might have, I don't know, four partitions for some reason. So you have to select them all. As you can see, they are selected by default. You can see the check there and the check in the other two partitions. So you have to make sure that they are selected. They are by default. But then we have to, once you have verified that, as you can see here, and I'm showing you the checks, <laughs> you have to click on clone to this disk. Or clone to disk okay so again i'm showing you that you have to have them selected they are done by default so you click on this one and now you have to check it again <laughs> one more time and then select a disk to clone to so you select you click on that and you select the only one that we have the new ssd 250 gigabytes so you select that and then you go next this page is blank Next, and here is giving you an overview. So the source is uh, Kingston SSD 120 gigabytes, and the destination is going to be uh, a 100, 250 gigabytes SSD. So it's, it's just giving you an overview. And from here, you go to finish. You click on it, and then it's going to ask you this. The second, the second part, we don't need it. Okay, so you uncheck it and then you leave the first one checked and okay. You click on that and now the process is going to start. As you can see, it, uh, the video is going to be sped up in this part because, well, we don't need it. You can see clone started and you can see 1% and now the video is sped up. So while we wait, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So this process is going to take longer or shorter depending how big your hard drive is. Let's say you have one terabyte and you are cloning it to a two terabyte SSD. So it's going to take a long time. Also depends on your current hard drive. Is it a mechanical one? Is it very old? So, and how fast your computer is. So it's going to take all these things into consideration for the time, okay? So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to come back when it, when it is almost done. Welcome back. So as you can see, it's uh, the process is at 99%. And once it's done, it's going to open the new SSD. And you can see that all the files are there. So we don't need this anymore. Well, right now I'm going to close it. And then clone processing, it took 25 minutes, all right? So it says 100% and now I'm going to close it. So we can see the second hard drive there, the new SSD with information. I go to, uh, now I go to this PC and we can see that the local disk E is the new SSD. So I'm going to, uh, I forgot to do this at the beginning. I have some files. This one says my IT workshop, it's a text file. And I'm going to open this VMware software. So just to show you that we can open it. So we don't have anything to do, to do here. I'm going to shut it down and allow me a few minutes to adjust my camera. So as you can see, this is a Dell laptop, but of course this process works for any other brand. You can see there the PNY SSD. I'm going to disconnect it from the laptop and I'm going to disconnect everything, uh, the, power, uh, the, the power supply and the USB, which is my mouse. So I'm going to turn it over. I almost make the new SSD fall and you can see it here. So for this model, I have two screws to access the SSD and I'm going to use my Philips screwdriver as you can see it there. And in this model, it's kind of very easy to remove the cover, but there are other models. I'm going to show you another HP laptop now, which has, this is the back, the back part of the laptop and it has eight screws and the battery is not visible, so you cannot remove it. So it's going to really depend on your model. Some are more difficult than others but it just depends on the model that you that you have okay so uh coming go, going back to the laptop this one has two screws 
I'm going to remove it, well, I'm going to take them off, take, take them out and remove the cover. So the video sped up, as you can notice, so you don't have to wait all the time. So we can see part of the motherboard and the SSD. So it has two screws. I'm going to remove them, as you see me doing there. And with this plastic thing, I'm going to pull it back and that's how you remove it. So I'm going to take it out very slowly, like that. And this one, this uh, Kingston, great brand, by the way, 120 gigabytes. Link for that in the video description below. I'm going to remove this kind of belt around it. And there we are going to put now the new PMY 250 gigabytes that we just cloned. So we do the process in reverse. We're going to put back this uh, belt. And this is the part I always have problems because it's for me, it's kind of difficult to put this belt back. <laughs> but the video sped up, so you, you don't notice that. And now I forgot to say, I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I discharge myself or, of any electric, uh, static electricity I might have in my body. So I don't damage any circuitry on the motherboard. So I'm going to put it back like that. So using the same plastic thing, I'm going to connect it to the motherboard. So now we put back the screws and we are going to put back the cover, just like that. Now we're going to turn it over and we're going to connect it to the, to the power supply or charger and we're going to turn on the laptop. So here also allow me a few more seconds to adjust my camera. That's me with my, with my green t-shirt. And now it's giving us a message which says the AC power adapter wattage cannot be determined. So this is not due to the SSD, it's due to I'm um, using the wrong power supply charger. So that's not related to the cloning process. So you see the Windows image there, I'm going to connect my mouse and there you go. I'm going to log into the system. And the first time you do this after you have replaced the new SSD, it takes a few, you're going to notice that the system is slow. So that happened in the many times I have cloned. This is normal for the first time. So here, for example, I'm going to right click on the screen and it's taking a long time for the refresh to show up. And I'm going to click on it and it's going to be stuck for a few seconds. The videos is sped up, so you maybe don't notice that, but that's what is happening. So if you check in the lower part, uh, the icons are popping up. So I'm going to go to File. I go to this PC and now we can see the local disk C. So we are uh, and I open now my uh, TXT file. You can see my IT workshop and I'm going to open the VMware Center. So it's asking me for the password, which I don't remember right now, but I'm just showing you that it works. I'm going to open this media player like that. Like I mentioned, the video sped up because it's kind of slow right now. And you can see that I have everything. I'm going to open Google and I type it wrong and we have access to the internet. So it has connected automatically to the Wi-Fi because it has the password, of course. But you can notice something. It says 100 11 gigabytes or 120 gigabytes, which is which we know it's wrong because the new SSD is 250 gigabytes, right? So this is the question I've been receiving in the other two videos I have done in the past. Where is my space? Is it lost or something? No, it's not lost. So for that, you have to go to computer management like that. You click on it. It's going to take forever to load, but the video is sped up and you go to disk management. So you click on it and you're going to see all the hard drives that you have. So as you can see, we have a black label here that says 121 gigabytes unallocated. So that means the extra space of the 250 gigabytes, it's there, it exists, it's just not being used. And that's something we have to enable, if you will. All right. So the, the reason this is happening is because we were coming from 120 gigabytes to a 250. So it's just going to clone what it can use, which is 120 gigabyte, right? So before doing it, I just want to show you, you have to select the C partition as you see me do it, doing there. You click on it, you right click then and extend volume. But before that, I'm going to show you what would happen. You click on the unallocated space, right click, new simple volume. If you do that, you're going to go through the process to create a new uh, volume. So you are going to see it as local disk D right? But we don't want to do it. We don't want that. We want everything to be only one disk, which is partition C. So again, I select C, right click on it, and I go to a extent volume. 
You click on that, you see the wizard, and you just have to click next. And by default, it's giving you the unallocated space, which is 120, more than 120 gigabytes. All right. So it's selected by default because you don't have any other unallocated space. If you were to have more, you're going to see more. But in this case, we only have one. It's selected by default, and you just have to click next. So once you click um, next, it's going to tell you disk selected disk zero next and as you can see everything is a whole now so i'm going to refresh it now in this pc and now you can see 232 gigabytes which is 250 uh, it's the size of this that i have shown you and that we have cloned a few seconds ago so this is what you have to do in th there is another scenario that happened me some months ago where you have the unallocated space but it's not next to the c so you cannot do what i just did here you have to download another software which is free and you have to do a little more process. But I'm going to try to do a video on that in the future. I have to, to and I will try to recreate that scenario so you can see what to do in that situation. Okay, maybe now you're interested in these other two videos. And if that's all for this one, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.